how to highlight duplicates in Google Sheets. Here I have a sales report, but of course you don't need to have the same data set that I'm using here. You can use your own data set, it doesn't matter. So let's say I want to use the order ID, those values, those numbers that I have here as my reference, as my criteria to highlight or not. But you can, of course, instead of using numbers, you can also use text. So if you want to highlight a text, you can do so. So let's say, let's stick with what I need to do here. Highlight the order ID. The order ID basically is the identification of the orders that I have, is the number. So the numbers cannot be repeated. And if it happens, it's because I need to highlight them. So as you can see here, those two numbers are equal to each other. That way it indicates that it's basically the same order. That way I need to highlight them. Uh, here, down below, I have three more repetitive values and I need to highlight them. But of course, I need to do it automatically. I can't do it manually because every day I have a new update here in, the, in this spreadsheet. So I need to automate this task. The first thing that I'm going to do here is uh, I can select the column B, the entire column B, okay? Just click over the letter, the column B or the column that you want to use. Just select the range. Now I go to the Format tab and here, this option, Conditional Formatting. I'm going to click here and a new window here to the right is going to appear for me. And as the format rule, I'm going to need to create my own custom formula. So I'm going to click here, Custom Formula. And for the value of the formula, I'm uh, gonna need to use the count if function to help me. Why should I use here the count if function? Because the count if function can count values, can count data. So let's say the order ID one, this number right here one, this number right here oh, it's the second time this that number is appear here in this in this list. So two, this one is one, this one is one, this one is two. And this number is three. Okay, so every time that you have a new value, it's gonna be equal to one. But if you have a value that is already appeared before, it's gonna count again. So two, and then three, and four, and on and on. So this is how the counts ifs function works basically. And to do here the count if formula, equal sign the first thing that you need, and then count if. Okay, count if. I'm going to open parentheses here, and then the range that I'm going to use to count things is going to be my entire column B, okay? So I'm going to just type it in here, B to B, or B column B, okay? B column B, and then comma, my criteria to count is going to be first myself B1, B1, close parentheses, and if it's greater than one, it's gonna need to be highlighted. Don't worry, because I'm gonna ex explain this formula in a theoretical way. Basically, we are count all the values. And if a result is greater than one, so it's gonna be highlighted. So let's take a look here. As you can see, all the repetitive values are now being automatically highlighted for me. Why? Because as, as we select here, this range, just B1 right here, basically the formula is gonna be applied for all the rows. So this is why we start with the, the cell B1. So it's basically doing here a verification. So it's taking all the range B, okay? So all the range B, and first it's gonna analyze the cell B1. How many times the cell B1 appears on this list? The, the value that I have here, I mean, order ID. Okay, so order ID just appears one time. And one, in the, in the formula that we typed in before, one is greater than one. No, it's equal to, to one. Okay, so okay, so it's don't need to be highlighted. The next row. The next row we have th this number right here, 34871. And how many times this number appears on the list? Two, okay? One right here and just one underneath it. So two times. This result right here, two, is greater than one. Yes, it's greater than one. So this is why I got here the highlight. Okay, so basically it's pretty much simple. Uh, after you understand the formula. Let's me click here. Now done. And then I can close this panel and we're done. Whenever now I have a repetitive value, it's gonna be automatically highlighted for me. And of course, you can do it for all the columns that you have and for all the ranges. You don't need to use numbers. You don't need to use text. You can use whatever you want to use. Let me show you here an example. I'm just gonna bring my spreadsheet a little bit up. And with a couple of blank rows, if I type it in, Let's say, Jopa here and here again, look what's gonna happen, or even 
I'm gonna just make the those apart from each other, like this. I'm gonna press enter and look what's gonna happen. Both of those values are being automatically highlighted for me because they are repeated. And if I change something here, okay, the the highlight disappears. So this is how we can create uh, highlight duplicates here in Google Sheets. I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.